Brazil has witnessed many protests since the far-right government of Jair Bolsonaro assumed power. There have been national strikes led by the working class groups, which have been triggered by austerity measures and the implementation of neoliberal economic policies. There have been mass protests across the country by students and teachers against fund cuts in education, as well as protests by feminist groups against femicide and misogyny. But on April 11th, Brazil witnessed a very different kind of protest. So what was this about? Well, people were protesting against social distancing. Yes, you heard that right. A group of right-wingers and followers of Jair Bolsonaro hit the streets of Sao Paulo to protest against the social distancing measures imposed by the governor of Sao Paulo. They were on the streets demanding the impeachment of the governor as well as the scrapping of the lockdown. This public outburst goes in line with the attitude of the president who has discredited physical distancing measures as well as the seriousness of the COVID-19 pandemic. Bolsonaro has been making atrocious statement after statement belittling the pandemic. For instance, he called it just a little cold and said that 90% of people that will be infected will not have symptoms. To quote him, the world has shown us that the risk group is people over 60 years old. So why close the schools? He even said that the press is causing panic and hysteria in Brazilian society while reporting on COVID-19. Even as the number of cases are soaring, no appropriate steps have been taken to contain the pandemic. As of April 14th, nearly 24,000 cases had been reported with over 1,350 deaths. Public health experts have raised concerns over the condition in Brazil, becoming similar to that of the US and Italy soon. The governors of most states have been trying to slow transmission by advocating physical distancing. But clearly, there are signs that such efforts are fraying. A growing number of people are stepping out onto the streets of cities every day to work so as to sustain themselves. Austerity measures over the years have taken a toll on the lives of working class in Brazil and they have no option but to work even in these tough times to survive. Informal workers from the poor neighbourhoods of Brazil survive aided by solidarity and in fear of the pandemic. Social movements such as the Brazil Popular Front and the Fearless People Front jointly launched on March 31st the emergency platform to fight the coronavirus pandemic and the crisis in Brazil. This includes more than 60 proposals to unite Brazilian society. It also seeks to mobilize the executive, legislature and judiciary branches to support the undertaking. Amid governmental neglect and irresponsibility, social movements have reaffirmed that only the people will save the people. In addition to launching the political platform, which calls on institutions to take action, the movements have spearheaded initiatives of solidarity and mutual aid. In partnership with rural movements, such as the Landless Rural Workers Movement, the MST, which is involved in food production, social movements have been collecting donations and distributing food to vulnerable and marginalized populations in Brazil's cities to fill the gap where the state seems unwilling to act. Yeah, cantar, que vamos a triunfar.